So with mechanical sound waves, we deal with both intensity and sound intensity. And oops, while they might look the same, they are actually quite different. So if we have a sound source, and this X is emitting sound, then it's going to emit sound waves in all directions. And so as the sound wave propagates through space, or through a medium, in this case, because it's a sound wave, then it spreads out. So because sound waves hold energy, let's just imagine this sound wave holds 10 joules of sound energy. So what happens is, at this point, at the point x, there will be 10 joules, but it decays. So if it gets to here, then this entire outer ring of the sound wave holds 10 joules, which means that if we looked at only half of it, then this half of the sound wave will hold 5 joules, and the other half here, that will hold the other 5 joules. So the actual individual parts, like if we only wanted to care about you know, that individual part, it will have a tiny fraction of what it might used to be, whereas here, this half might hold 5 joules, and then the other half will hold the other 5. I shouldn't do that in the same color. But this other half will hold the other five. So as you can see, basically the intensity is the energy transferred per second. So the intensity equals the average power or the average energy transfer per second. So it's the average power, P average, divided by the area or how much it's spread out. So in this case, or divided by the area. And because it emits it in three dimensions, and this is just a two-dimensional representation, but really it's in three dimensions, then the area equals 4 pi r squared. So if our radius at this point is 6, then it would be 4 pi 6 squared to calculate the area. So as you can see, it's the square of the the uh, radius, so it, it decays exponentially, and that is the intensity. So when we refer to intensity rather than sound intensity, where we're talking about how much energy the sound wave holds. Now, sound intensity is measured in decibels. So sound intensity, sound intensity is in decibels. And to calculate the decibels, we use the intensity of the wave. And decibel scale is used to really quantify just how loud things are in a scale that humans can really understand. So sound intensity is the amount of decibels equals 10 times the log. Now this isn't the natural log. This is log base 10 of the current intensity, the intensity, I'll just write current, pretty small though, over the intensity of the threshold of human hearing. Now, the threshold of human hearing is uh, 10 to the negative 12 watts per meter squared. And in decibels, this equals zero decibels. So we can hear, the lowest that we can hear as human beings is zero decibels. So if we do 10 times log of 1 over 1, or in this case 10, let's say our current intensity was 10 to the negative 12 and the threshold was 10 to the negative 12, then that equals 1. No, it's a fraction, right? So then it becomes log 1 times 10, which log 1 times 10, and well, that just equals 0. So we will have zero decibels. So it's the fraction that of the current intensity over what we could actually hear. Oops. So it's a, so the decibels. Okay. So this is this is the sound intensity. So sound intensity is the decimal or a decibel representation of the intensity, but they are very different. So in a question, if we're looking for the intensity, we have to know that this is talking about the you know, joules per second over the amount of area. How much of that energy is at, at this point or at, 
at this point or something like that. Whereas with sound intensity, we're talking about we have to convert it. So the threshold of hearing is usually referred to as I naught. And that, of course, equals, like I said, 10 to the negative 12 meters. Or, uh, yeah, sorry, 10 to the negative 12 watts per meter squared. Now, the P average is the average power transferred in one second. And that equals P average equals one half of the cross sectional density, the, the mass per unit length, times the velocity of the sound wave, times omega squared times amplitude squared. So in a regular sound wave, the velocity is constant. And if we have a constant mass per unit density of the medium, which in this case is air, which is normally constant in breakthrough conditions, and if our omega squared does not change very much, then really the average power is mostly determined by any changes in amplitude. And so this is more of a just a, a general understanding of the difference between sound and uh, sound intensity and intensity. And it's just important to know that what we're trying to do is find out how much of the wave energy is concentrated at a given point at a given distance from the point source.